A very good day to you. Welcome to Herman Manure's YouTube channel. My name is Jadal Cabrillo. Glad that you're here for a political conversation this fine Monday. Conversations that I hope will build this country even as we're progressing with William Ruto's administration. These conversations, of course, are very simple, truthful, and biased. With Herman Manure, who puts them across in a hard hitting way. He's here. How are you doing today? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. Conversation happening in the country is on by partisan talks. You know, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa telling his president, we were not in agreement with these talks, but because you, you allowed them to happen, we said, it's okay, but the matter of auditing, that's a no for us. When you hear him say this, what does this mean? Because, of course, he's not part of the team. They placed uh, Ichungwa there to lead the team. Will he have any influence when it comes to these talks? But the Deputy President does not even need to, to talk about it. Mm -hmm. It can't happen. You can't audit the elections. You can't audit the elections? No. Why the so? elections ended with the Supreme Court. Huh? It's as simple as that. Even if Martha Karua, you remember she wanted to take it to the Ayala courts. That's a different path. If that you means, want. That's a different that path. means auditing can happen. You see, I've been trying to explain to people like Fred Okango and other people. And like Alonso Mishoka, for example. On Twitter, of course. Mm. And I've told them, you see, elections are contested up to the voting day. That's a contestation. You are contesting. You are fighting for it. Mm. Who will win? Who will win? Then somebody declared the winner by IBC. Mm. Then the constitution gives you an avenue for appeal. You can contest mm. in the Supreme Court. After the Supreme Court, question. You cannot, under the law or under the constitution, in terms of really applying this law, mm. say, now I'm going to audit. The, how would you audit? There's only one way. You make it, and I was also telling Miguna Miguna, you make it a political question. Mm. You say it is a question of legitimacy. <laughs> we do not recognize the president as having won fairly, despite the chairman Kivuito announcing the winner, declaring the winner, despite the Supreme Court affirming his victory. We do not. Where do you take that argument? Yeah. You take it to the streets. Mm. You impeach or impugn the process through the streets. You take the question back to the sovereign, to the people. Mm. And the discussion and impeachment is held in the streets. Mm. Until those in power accede to your demands. Mm. So while the argument was in the streets, it was legitimate because the sovereignty belongs to the people. Mm. But you, you are now returned it to the people. Mm. Let us question these people who think they have won and yet they haven't won. But, but now at the bombers, mm. there are many people have been dragged into accepting that this thing can be done under the purview of the law mm. and yet according to the law this ended with the supreme court so but what else can you discuss don't at you Bomber? think the talks are also about this law this constitution that's why we have you know adopting this uh, seats uh, prime cabinet secretary no. don't you think the outcome could be you looking can't. into the law and auditing even without it being now you see, part of the constitution you see you can talk about the law in terms of whether you can have the leader of the opposition, which of course is nonsense and it can't happen, not within the confines of bombers, you can talk about entrenching or embedding, as they say, mm. of the prime cabinet sector, whatever you want to call it. Again, it's not possible within the confines of bombers. But you cannot say, while at bombers we are seated as we take tea and draw allowances, we are discussing about last year election. Mm. That's not possible. You can't discuss last year's election at Bombers, the way it is constituted. Mm. Because they allowed themselves to go to Parliament and now operate within the confines of the law. Actually within the my narrow confines of Parliament. Mm. And my thinking is they just wanted money. Because you cannot get, you, you, you you cannot get government money mm. until the process is official and formal. You honestly and that's why they took it to say Parliament. say that about Kalonzo Musioka, of course. Not Kalonzo, all of them. All as me. As in, I, we must tell them. <laughs> we must tell them. <laughs> You're going there. In the pesa in Yelifanya wakakubali kitu katoka bombers inje huko kwa raia wakapeleka parliament. Mm. Yeah. So that they allow So that now once it is under parliament 
under the provisions of the 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 the, 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 the constitution mm. you you can discuss anything you want to discuss but not the not Ruto's presidency you can't discuss it it's over what are discuss the, other things uh, but not the, the presidency of course you have now accused <laughs> them of wanting money but of course why, why why what are the explanation they have to come forward and say manyola okay you have a point but you are wrong the reason why we took this thing to parliament is one two and I don't see any. So that you can they took it to Parliament uh. so that they can draw state money. Which will include allowances. Not to work within the confines of the law. They are within the confines of the law. Even without being anchored in Parliament. Because I think mm. they went to Parliament so that... They anchor it in the Parliament and there's no other reason other than they may draw allowances. They, you can't convince them there's another reason. No. Well, let's, go, let's continue the conversation. <laughs> what are the effects? That's why I wanted to go. What are the effects of these talks politically? Because Ruto says, Tutawape Ofisi, Raila, Pigeta, Rumbeta, if he wants to, you know, uh, accuse me of something and it is right, I will probably work on it. If not, I will not work on it. And then uh, Raila's side say, look, Gashago is afraid of these talks, wants to sabotage them because if we enshrine the Prime Minister's position in the Constitution, then he, he will not have any responsibility in this it government. It goes back to what I've been saying. Rail and Ruto have a deal. Mm. So this is just games. For example, if Ruto believes what he's saying, if he's so much against these talks, the way you can see and the way Gashagwa is, and he's, he's talking very badly about the talks, let's create an office for Kinaraila, give them trumpet, they can blow every morning, every lunch time. <laughs> if if it is distress the talk so much, why can't he recall his team? Mm. I'm here, Shungwa, pack your things from Bomas Kuja, and then like as Yako in Guinea Parliament. Mm. If Ruto can talk about Raila in the manner he has talked about him, why can't Raila pull his troops out of Bomas? Mm. I mean, under normal circumstances, Ruto can't say the things he's saying about Raila, and the talks are going on. Raila will just pull out of the talk. So they have a deal. So mm. this bomber is just a smoke screen. Then if they have a deal, you know, I've, I've always asked you this. What does this mean about Raila, the person who fights for the people? And we are not seeing that Raila now. If you say they have a deal, I remember your tweet saying, Alete Ile Pesa Amikula, you know, share it with the likes of you. No, that I was saying in light. That was with a light touch. I, I'm, I'm saying, mm. do you see that Raila now? Raila is still there. He may be playing his game somewhere, but what I know, there must be a deal. And this deal was it was imposed on them by foreigners mm. and that deal will not be good for Kalonzo not regarded mm -hmm. at some point there will be really power sharing in whatever form it will take that's the deal they have so bombers is just a, a smoke screen so if you are to advise the shagwa you think the route he's taking is it the right route trying to sabotage these talks because he's going for the issues even though the, his team actually agreed with them you know ruto is talking about you know these seats uh, and it's actually kenya kwanza that proposed the opposition leader seat what would you advise gashago is he taking the right route he thinks he can fight it initially on the side of ruto but finally can do it on his own the way ruto did it against uhuru he fought, ruto fought the handshake so Ruto is, uh, Gashago may be trying to forestall the handshake. Or if, or he, he, and I wanted to use a word I can't. Mm. Or maybe he's naive enough to imagine by backing the way he's backing, the, the, he can scare Ruto and, and Raila from, from whatever deal they, had, they have. That's wrong. He mm. can't manage. That deal is sealed and is backed by powerful forces. From the way I think. Mm. Raila may not admit, Ruto may not admit, but it's there because the, the logic is refusing. Mm. If you disdain something, if you hate something, if you are so, if you are rubbishing something, the way Ruto is rubbishing Kina Raila and the talks, why can't he just pull out his troops? Mm. If Raila is being spoken of in the manner Ruto is speak, speaking of him, Tumpatia your office, na Tumpatia trumpet. Mm. A man of Raila stature, mm. Muto onge kwako and you are not work, taking a walk. Why has he taken a walk from bombers? So, so that shows you there's mm. something. What is the final effect? You've talked about Ruto Uhuru. Is the final effect regarding Gashagua splitting, Gashagua going his own way before 2027? Is this what we're going to look at post bomber stocks? No, I've told Gashagua and Mudavadi.
there's no room for you in this arrangement. Zero. Zero. Even Zero. Mudavadi's pride. Mudavadi, there is anything. nothing for him. Zero. Even if that thing, let me tell you, even if Bomas comes up with that thing, it will not be for Mudavadi. You are kidding me. There is nothing for Mudavadi in this thing. Not now, not 2020, not 2037. There is nothing for, 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 for Gashagwa in this thing. Not now, not 2027. Mm. And the only option the two have is to bolt out. In fact, if Gashagwa bolted out with Mudavadi, pop! Mm. They just take this thing in 2027. I think you're assuming that <laughs> Ruto will play Uhuru's game, you know, of betrayal. And from past experience, this did not work well for There was no betrayal. The for, there was no betrayal. Uhuru was just playing real politics. The truth, the truth is, Uhuru was not going to, to manage post 2017. He wasn't going to manage. He had to look for Ayla. He wasn't going to manage. Mm. No, he wasn't. And the Ruto thinks he can, but there are people up there who know he won't. So they are telling him, you won't catch in Raila. And I'm sure they have forced him to see it. Because he thinks he can. He thinks Kibaki was a fool, Moyo was a fool, Uru was a fool to work with Raila. No, they knew. Mm. Uru was not going to manage to be president after 2017. It would have been difficult for him. So the government would have collapsed. Mm. And Ruto can't see. Those demonstrations that were in the streets, he was not going to manage them. You, th things were getting wild, out of hand. Mm. They were getting more complex is, and out is, of is hand. Is this then the sad reality of dealing with Raila? That it's if, not the sad reality. If he brings people to the streets, you cannot really govern. Is this what, what, what it, happens for, for It's not the sad leaders. reality. It's the truth of the matter. That Raila is a very powerful politician. My own estimate is that he's the most powerful politician in the country, without, power, without state house. Mm. He has the power without authority. You know, Gashago was saying he was misbehaving uh, at no, KICC, no, 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 no. trying to enter into the presidential yeah, if you, if you, If you <laughs> try to embarrass him, let me just tell you, let me just tell you, Gashago, if you try to embarrass Raila there, many of those heads of state and government will walk out. Mm. Yes. Raila the way he was walking towards the, 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 the whatever, yeah. where the people, then he sent some of these policemen. Mm. Atoy Raila, those guys will just stand up. That's just how bad it is. Mm. He will remain, those heads of state, I'm telling you, a number of them will just walk out and leave. Just that's how powerful Raila so is. So if Gashaga <laughs> comes out shaming Raila, you can't. Those guys will walk out on him. Maybe finally finish up with the bomber stuff. That was just a by the way. Yes. Collateral damage. It will hit hard Kenya Kwanza than Azimio. Will this be the case if these talks are successful if the deal is as you say is? This deal will hit everybody in the way. Nobody will be served. Nobody will be saved. If it works according to the script by Ruto and Raila, the way I see it. The Kenya Kwanza side, these big boys there will be hurt. Mm. Because once Ruto has brought Raila on his side, he doesn't need the mountain as much as he needs them now. Just as it happened with Uhuru. Mm. Once Raila with, is with Ruto, he, it will be his agenda. Mm. To the extent that even if he's not running in 2027, he may support Kalonzo but in a very token manner. Mm. Token support. So that within that deal, Ruto goes an, almost like an opposite. And Raila has his own way. Even if he's not running, he could bring a few, one or two people from his side for future power. Mm. The, the way I'm seeing it. But unfortunately for them, just to wind up, unfortunately for them, this thing may grow to be bigger than they think. Mm. The people of Kenya may take charge of this process mm. and birth a really charter. All right. Yes. Good place to wrap up. I guess we'll say what we used to say back in 2022. In the fullness of time, Correct. we'll get to know what's happening. Well, this has been our political conversation, hoping to build this politician so that they make smart political moves. Have yourself a lovely rest of your day.